This essay example, as well as thousands of others, is available in text format on our website for free and without registration. Simply Google Ivy Panda Free Essays. Introduction Choral music is written for a particular group of people to sing. Therefore, a choir of 6 to 360 singers sings the music. This kind of music is commonly practiced in schools and by church choirs and has special arrangements of voices to enhance its quality. One singer sings the verse and the other choir members singing the chorus can sometimes perform choral music. It can also be performed in a manner that a group of singers with similar voices sings one verse as the others with the same voices also sing the following verse. This uniqueness in choral music of combining various voices and multiple lines of music increases the power of music, hence improving the quality of music. History of Choral Music Choral music is one of the various categories of music that have developed from the medieval time to the contemporary period as many singers developed an interest in it, which made them try to improve it. During the medieval period, choirs could only perform choral music in one version, where the soloist could sing the verses as the other members sang the chorus in unison. During the 14th and 15th centuries, which is referred to as the Renaissance period, choral music underwent developments and could be performed by four types of voices. In the late 20th and 21st centuries, many musicians tried various experiments on choral music, leading to the development of choral music as it is being performed in the present time. Due to the introduction of tone and modern harmony in the field of music, musicians of choral music can apply the four types of voices, soprano, alto, tenor, and bass. Choral music has also borrowed ideas from other categories of music, like classical concerts, to come up with cantata type of choral music where singers act as they sing along. Choral musicians pass their culture to the following generations since they compose their choral music based on their culture. For instance, they use traditional costumes and instruments when staging their choral music. Analysis of choral music involves discussion of various parts. These include parts of choral music, voices involved, categories of choral music, and performers of the choral music. Choral music characteristics Parts Choral music can have two or more parts. When a musician composes a piece of choral music, he or she ensures that the song to be performed has at least two parts of equal importance. Therefore, the parts should stand out independently but agree on stage. Voices Choral music is primarily performed in four voices, soprano, tenor, alto, and bass. When a musician writes a choral song, he has to ensure that the four voices are well represented in the keynote and tonal variation. Types Choral verse has various subcategories. They include anthem, capella, cantata, motet, and oratorio. Anthem Anthem choral music is sung to give praise or give thanks. For instance, in churches, Christians sing thanksgiving songs to God as the Israelites did when God saved them from the bondage of slavery in Egypt. People praising their country can also sing a national anthem. Therefore, these kinds of songs can be performed in soprano, alto tenor, and bass and with the accompaniment of musical instruments. Cantata in this type, one or more voices, which are usually a combination of solos, duets, or even choruses, perform this music. Instruments also accompany this music. Capella This type of choral music was invented during the 13th century. It was performed in churches, usually with one person or a group of people in unison, without any accompaniment of musical instruments. Oratorio this type of music is usually performed by a large group consisting of soloists, an orchestra, and a choir. It can be sacred or semi-sacred music, which is presented as dramatically as in theater. Even though it can be written as sacred music, it is not meant for liturgical use and can, therefore, be performed in concert halls. 
It does not involve the use of costumes. Motet This kind of choral music started in the 13th century. The music can be performed either as a sacred or as a secular piece of work. Soloist with the accompaniment of the musical instruments, therefore, performs it. Performers This kind of choral music is performed in such a manner that singers of similar voices can sing each part of the music, which will be independent on its own, but agreeing with the parts their counterparts would be singing. For instance, it can be choral music between the soprano against the alto or even a combination of the two voices against the tenor and bass. Choral Music Classification In choral music, voices are categorized based on the vocal ranges of the performers. The voices are, therefore, divided as either low or high. This has been a problem in the area of choral music classification as some of the participants will be either singing too low or too high in reference to their voices. This happens to singers with medium voices. For example, females with mezzo-soprano are forced to sing either soprano, which would be too high for them, or alto, which again would be too low for them. The same case happens to male singers with the baritone voice, as they would sing either tenor or bass. This situation can, therefore, cause problems for the singers, especially those forced to sing too high. Stage Arrangement In a stage presentation, there are various arrangements but there is a typical arrangement where the conductor of the choral music stands in front of the orchestra as the choir members order themselves right from the highest voices to the lowest voices in a straight line. Another arrangement involves male singers arranging themselves just behind the female singers and the bass just right behind the soprano for them to tune each other as it is done in a cappella. Conclusion Lastly, performers can be mixed as practiced by the more developed choirs. It is believed that this kind of arrangement helps singers to hear the song and tune other parts, but to some extent, it can make other singers get lost in the lines, hence reducing the power of the chorus to the audience. In all types of music, it is crucial to ensure there is enough space for all singers for them to be able to sing freely. Did you like this choral music, definition, history, and example sample? To get more works like this one, make sure to check out the free database of academic paper examples at ivypanda.com. You will find thousands of samples for all your study needs without even having to register.